Aloha Ohana. I hope you guys are having a wonderful and beautiful weekend in the mighty name of Jesus. Hallelujah. We're going to get straight in there. We're going to go over Matthew chapter 13 verse 9 through 11. Okay, we're going over faithful connections. Hallelujah. And this is what the Holy Spirit has led me on. Let's join this journey along with Jesus. Hallelujah. Following Him. Hallelujah. He's the one who goes before us. Hallelujah. Right? The Holy Spirit is the one who's going to lead us and guide us to and through truth. So let's get into it. Matthew chapter 13 verse 9. It is written, Who has ears to hear, let him hear. Hallelujah. Verse 10 it reads, And the disciples came and said unto him, Why speakest thou unto them in parables? Verse 11 it reads, He answered and said unto them, It is written, Because it is given unto you to know the mysteries of the kingdom of heaven. Amen. But to them it is not given. Right? What does it say? What does Jesus say right here? It is given unto you to know. Okay? The Holy Spirit is the one who's going to discern for you, guide you, and lead you to and through truth. All of what you have been given to know the mysteries of the kingdom of heaven. Amen? Okay? That's what it means when God's saying, It is given unto you to know the mysteries of the kingdom of heaven. That is the Holy Spirit who teaches you. Amen? But to them it is not given. Those who are not walking with God, those who do not have Jesus in their life, those who have not received Jesus or we have repented and chosen Jesus each and every single day. Because remember now, God first loved us. Okay, He see us. But the thing is, a lot of people, they hold on to the tangible things that they can see that they believe. They believe because they see. If they don't see, they have no faith, they don't believe, right? Okay? And how are we going to grow our faith? By elevating our ears to the word of God. Okay, so Ohana, I want to go over. We're going to be talking about faithful connections, okay? So as, if, as far as relationships, okay? There's siblings, friend, and then there's parent. And to cultivate a healthy relationship, okay? Nurture, example, and maintenance okay this is what i've been working on yesterday the holy spirit has led me to and god has blessed us with his word hallelujah so that way we can be led on the path of righteousness and truth through and in christ jesus he lives we serve a living god amen okay so for nurture that's love care mercy and grace that is the word of god amen so we're going to nurture our faithful connections okay we're going to nurture our relationships. The goal is to have faithful connections. And we're going to be nurtured by the word of God. Amen. So let's get into Proverbs chapter 4 verse 1 through 4. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. 4, 1 through 4. All right. It reads, Hear ye, children, the instruction of a father, and attend to no understanding. For I give you good doctrine forsake for forsake ye not my law verse 3 it reads for i was my father's son tender and only beloved in the sight of my mother verse 4 it reads he taught me also and said unto me let thine heart retain my words keep my commandments and live okay I give you good doctrines. The word of God is good doctrines. To what? To teach you. Amen. Teach you. Nurture you. So you have the path that you are taking. You can see which one is the right path for you to take. God's word is a lamp to your feet. Amen. So be nurtured by the word of God. And that's how we're going to have faithful connections. Not only with others. But our faithful connection and most important relationship, because it's not about religion, it's about relationship, that faithful connection with Jesus Christ. Amen? Amen. All right. The next one is example. Okay? Role model, discipline, shepherd. Who does that lead to? Who does that sound like? Jesus Christ. Jesus Christ is the living example. Hallelujah. So we're going to get into Deuteronomy chapter 6 verse 9 verse 4 to 9 okay 
Jesus Christ is a living example. Hallelujah. Okay, it reads, Hear, O Israel, the Lord our God is, uh, is one Lord. Hallelujah. Verse 5, it reads, And thou shalt love the Lord thy God with all thine heart, and with all thy soul, and with all thy might. Verse 6, it reads, And these words which I command thee this day shall be in thine heart. Verse 7, it reads, And thou shalt teach them diligently unto thy children, and shalt talk of them when thou sittest in thine house, and when thou walkest by the way, and when thou liest down, and when thou risest up. Verse 8, it reads, And thou shalt bind them for a sign upon thine hand, and they shall be as frontlets between thine eyes, and thou shalt write them upon the posts of thy house and on thy gates. Okay? So right here is talking about okay, talking about teaching. Teaching who? Our children. Okay? So we're gonna nurture. Okay, we're gonna nurture as a parent, okay? As a parent, we're gonna nurture our children with the word of God, okay, with the word of God, teaching him of his love, his mercy, his grace, and his care, because Jesus Christ is the living example, hallelujah, they're going to be obedient, right, teaching them discipline through the word of God, and Jesus Christ is who? Our shepherd, he is our Lord and our Savior, he is the living example and expression of God's love for us, hallelujah, okay, so, next we're going over is maintenance maintenance and maintenance okay examine yourself compassion patience and forgiveness and remember god is not done with you okay god is not done with you deuteronomy chapter 4 verse 9 to 10 okay here it goes it reads only take heed to thyself and keep thy soul diligently lest thou forget the things which thine eyes have seen and lest they depart from thy heart all the days of thy life but teach them thy sons and thy sons sons verse 10 it reads especially the day that thou stoodest before the lord thy god in horror forgive me if i pronounce that wrong when the Lord said unto me, Gather me the people together, and I will make them hear my words, that they may learn to fear me all the days that they shall live upon the earth, and that they may teach their children. Okay? Did you guys hear that? Did you guys hear that, what the Lord has said? He said, Gather my people, my people together gather my people together and I will make them hear my word that they may learn to fear me all the days that they shall live upon the earth okay and again God is not done with you God knows the thing is do you acknowledge that you are growing in God's grace he not done with you he not done he's continuously working in you through you for you amen and all of it is to glorify who his name his kingdom amen why does he do it because he loves you amen god loves you more than you can ever fully and truly understand and come to know god loves you amen god loves you okay Okay, wait, wait. God loves you. Um, okay, wait, yeah, real, real fast. I don't know what is going on. Real quick, okay? Forgive me for this interruption. Hey, um, Nadim, I don't know. Somebody didn't put the key back. I know somebody did it. Thank you. Yeah. Forgive me, guys. Sorry. That's our gate situation. Someone um had not put the key back. But anyways, it's not important, okay? God, God is not done with you yet. Thank you, babe. God is not done with you, okay? God is not done with you. This morning was kind of crazy for me, okay? So, like, I'm, 
I get my Bible, I probably get dressed, I probably, you know, freshen up and everything, change my clothes, and then I'm like looking for my car keys because I wanted to do my video in my car so I have quiet space, okay? Everybody's starting to get up, so I wanted to be quiet. <sighs> Can't find my key. Took me like a good five minutes searching all over for my key. I can feel myself getting like kind of like, oh my goodness, you know, like I was having a little bit of anxiety. I'm gonna be honest with you guys. I was having a little bit of anxiety. Okay, I was like, okay, calm down, cool. It's okay, it's okay. We're gonna find the key. So I'm looking all over. I have my fiance helping me look, look, look. And then finally I walk out to look in the garage to check. It's not in the garage. So I went to walk back in and I look, it's hanging right there on the hook that I purposely put that hook there so we can hang our key on but we hardly ever hang it over there okay so I look and I see it I'm like oh my goodness I grab the key and I dangle on like this to show my fiance like here it is right here I found it I was like okay thank you Jesus then I come out to the gate the gate is locked the gate the key that's supposed to be in the box is not in the box to open the gate I'm like okay here we go then I turn around and I was like how many episodes are we gonna have today oh my goodness with keys so then I go upstairs to go and ask for the master key so I can open the gate so I can come into my car so I can do this video for you guys right in Jesus name so I can do this video so I go up to the stairs and I go to open the front the the door the door is locked and I'm like this door is never locked so I'm like, okay, so I'm knocking, knocking. I'm like, okay, I'm gonna have to walk around. Okay, I was like, okay, Francine, whoo, keep it cool. Jesus, you work in patience. Hallelujah, Lord, you are with me. We're gonna stay cool, calm, and collective. Amen. We're gonna do this video. We're gonna push through. We're gonna persevere in your holy, mighty name, Jesus. We ain't gonna let this shift nothing. We're standing strong. Yes, Lord, Jesus, you my foundation. So I go upstairs, and then I'm like, can I borrow the master key so I can open the gate? Someone didn't put the key back in the box. She's like, okay. And then I'm like, okay, okay, cool, cool, cool. Okay, boom, we get the key. We're going to do what we have set out to do. In the mighty name of Jesus, it will be done. It's already done in the mighty name of Jesus. Amen. Finally, I come out to the car and I'm like, okay, boom. So now, what is, what is the message what what's what's happening here okay the key the only way to get into heaven the only way to walk on that righteous path is jesus christ and he is the key jesus christ is the key and the only one who can get you through it is christ jesus we can't do it on our own right so how am i going to open a gate without the key if it's locked okay cannot so how are you gonna walk on this righteous path without the key and the key is being Jesus Christ who is the one who opens and makes the way for you for Jesus Christ is the truth life and the way without the key you cannot okay you cannot you cannot we need Jesus Christ every step of the way. So does our children. So when we teach them, we're not only teaching them by our words. We're teaching them by the word of God. God's word. God's word is a lamp to our feet. So that way we know which way to go. We know which way, which way is good and righteous and true. And that's following Jesus Christ. He's the one who takes the lead. You're not the one leading your children. God is the one who leads you and God wants you to nurture and have these relationships having faithful connections not only with your children but with your parents with your friends with your siblings with strangers with with your neighbors and neighbors is who everybody amen without Jesus how are we having these faithful connections you can have faithful connections but it depends on what you put in your faith in Faith in Christ Jesus is the way we are going to walk on this righteous path. It's not faith in what we are able and capable of doing. Because through Christ Jesus, we can and we will in the mighty name of Jesus. Through Him, we can move on this righteous path. Through Christ Jesus, we can push forward. Amen. We're not looking back. We're pushing forward. All Everything that had already been done is done. But guess what? God ain't done with you. 
So we're pushing forward and persevering in the mighty name of Jesus, knowing that God is good all the time. Okay? So he says, gather my people together and I will make them hear my words that they may learn to fear me all the days that they shall live upon the earth and that they may teach their children. Okay? So to cultivate faithful connections, okay, through Christ Jesus, because when I say faithful connections, our eyes is being fixed on Jesus. Jesus Christ is the one. Through Christ, we are able to, okay? Through Christ, we can nurture our children, okay? We can be the living example for our children, our friends, and our family, okay? And to maintain these faithful connections is by the word of God. It's through Christ Jesus we can't do that on our own. That's the only way we can have one faithful connection. By, by it being cultivated, cultivated, these relationships being cultivated, it's growing in grace. It is covered by the blood of Jesus. Hallelujah. We put in God first. Amen. Jesus Christ is the one who is the center, the front. He is the foundation. Hallelujah. We are washed by His blood because His blood is the one who speaks on our, our behalf. His blood is the one who washes us clean. His blood is the one who brings us nigh unto our Heavenly Father. So therefore, teach your children. Amen. Teach your children. And how are you going to teach them? And what are you going to teach them with? You're going to nurture them with the Word of God. Amen. Same like how God is nurturing and watering you with His living waters. A lot of Word of God to water and nourish your children's roots. Hallelujah. Amen. Okay? So nurture, love, care, mercy, and grace. The Word of God. In Jesus' name, hallelujah. An example. Who is the living example? Jesus Christ. Role model, discipline. He's the good shepherd. Hallelujah. And maintenance. Because we want, we have to maintain these faithful connections. And it's by examining yourself. Compassion. Patience and forgiveness. And remember that God is not done with you. Amen. God is not done with you. Here in Deuteronomy chapter 4 verse 9 and 10. Verse 10 it states clearly. That you will learn. Okay. Okay. That you may learn to fear me all the days that they shall live upon the earth. That right there is like clicking and acknowledging that you are continuously growing in grace and that you're learning. Okay? Learning. You are growing in grace. Hallelujah. And Jesus Christ is the key. Only through Christ Jesus we may enter. Hallelujah. Amen. Alright, Ohana. God bless you. And you, Ohana, in all that you do, may you be fruitful in the mighty name of Jesus, glorifying our Heavenly Father, in Jesus' name. Amen and aloha.